Hey everybody, it's Max McAllister from Traction Dynamics. Uh, just as a little follow-up video to our Lord of the Wings Super Seagull video, just so happens today's bike, um, after we finished our video, the next bike in is a bike that um, we have done suspension on in the past, but is back for some accessories. But I wanted to show you what happens with seat bolts over time. So uh, on this particular bike, come around and look at this side. <clears throat> You'll see the iconically missing washer on the bike. And uh, this one, the holes have been kind of stripped and retapped, so the bolts fit really poorly and wobbly on it. But this one still has the collar and no washer. And we're going to talk about this bolt in a minute. Come around to this side. And look in this hole. <laughs> This one is missing the washer and the collar, and the entire head of the bolt has dropped down into the plastic seat pan. And is, uh, you know, of course, this one's cross-threaded. Um, and I'm gonna talk about a different problem. We've come across a bunch in the last probably three or four months on uh, bikes we work on here, and at Wingding, we ran into this a bunch. So anyway, this one on the seat, the bolt has actually passed through because the thing is missing, the collar is missing in the washer, and the head of the bolt was all the way down into the thing. You can see the threads here <coughs> are wiped out on this on the mounting tab. So we've come across a, another bolt that started showing up on bikes. And from what I understand, these are made by Showchrome. These are not good. Um, what they've done is just take an existing bolt and have somebody turn the end on it. But the machining is really bad. Who's ever done this? So it's not machined properly and there's no lead in. So uh, what happens is this thing cross threads. So we find one out of every two of these bolts cross threaded and then the bracket inside is wrecked and has to be retapped and then it never fits again properly. The bolts wobble in the in the seat pan. So uh, there's a little taper on the end of this. Um, this uh, we actually looked at putting this on our bolt as a feature but um, decided it was just wasn't necessary. Um, the <clears throat> older bike had a long a handle with a huge long bore, spacers, and went through the seat and then into the frame. And uh, there was a aftermarket bolt that had a taper on it. That was actually beneficial in trying to line up, you know, three inches of stuff to get the bolt started. But on this bike, this is not necessary to have the taper. I mean, we could have put one if we wanted. But if you do my trick of just elbowing the saddle twice on either side, when you come look, you, you'll be able to see, you can just um, you can just look right in the hole and it'll line up. If it's not lined up, you just bust it with your elbow once or twice and then the hole's lined up so you can, uh, you know, just put the bolt in and you can look right at it. So, anyway, this, these are not, this is not good. I mean, this bolt looks stripped, it's just not machined properly. So. Um, while Showchrome makes a lot of good products, and we use uh, many of them here at our shop, this is not one, and it's actually one of the things that compelled me when I saw so many stripped out holes um, from people who had bought those things that I said, well, it's time for us to get a bolt made before this gets any worse. So anyway, thought that was a funny coincidence, um, but to show you what can happen uh, if you go keep on going with the Honda stuff the way it came, or get a aftermarket product that's not going to actually make your bike better so anyway uh, max thanks for watching my videos um, don't forget to like the video if you liked it and uh, share with your friends if they're having any troubles that I've addressed and uh, don't and subscribe to my channel and I'll try and keep this cool content coming